hello youtube so welcome to my podcast uh, life and tech so this is episode number 2 last time um, uh, i talked about uh, cyber safety in remote working so you can uh, watch my episode one i will uh, post it uh, uh, in the description section so today i thought of uh, working the same concept remote working because it's hot at the moment uh, some people have to do it anyway uh, so whether you like it or not but uh, i'm planning to just give you a set of uh, different perspectives on remote working from some random things that i found on the internet so all the links are available in the description section Mm. so the first thing i found that is a very interesting uh, infographics uh, uh, about benefits of remote working so um, it said uh, for last several years uh, remote working is kind of a, a thing you know and uh, uh, they have realized and they have uh, looked at the studies and they have looked at the data and stat they found out uh, remote working can really benefit organizations either big or small Right, so this is a very good uh, case study where we see that uh, when people have uh, issues of uh, going to work when they are at home, quarantine or whatsoever, so remote working is a good uh, case study. And we have uh, fortunately for all these people who have found these nice technologies, right? So we are at a freedom to work from our home using these nice computers, the internet, fast internet, and all these great products that people have put their efforts. so uh, we are fortunate so fortunate enough to at least to continue what we we do but uh, remember like uh, remote working is not for everyone there are some people who uh, feel uh, uh, i mean like uh, they don't have this option of remote working because uh, most of the blue collar workers uh, are facing this issue right so i do think uh, the strategy should be uh, the white collar workers or the, these people or knowledge workers should do more hard work in this time and we should share uh, what we earn with the other people so this is my way of thinking about it uh, so otherwise uh, everything breaks down the whole economy breaks down right so uh, uh, first we look at the statistics so productivity that's one of the key things that we looking in remote working so it said the uh, working remotely can increase productivity up to 40% so there can be reasoning towards this Uh, obvious reasoning would be um, you don't have a lot of hassle you know when you work in organization there are a lot of things happening around uh, so it's not uh, good to say that we don't need that we need a bit of uh, uh, bit of here and there you know hassle of other people coming and talking to you and some unnecessary meetings sounds and all that but still uh, it really hurts our productivity that we need to understand right so uh, some of the uh, some of the knowledge workers are more focused when they are working so that uh, may be one of the reasons that this productivity can go up and uh, uh, less time spent commuting commuting equals uh, 60% more time working so uh, i think especially in developing countries uh, uh, we 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 take probably in average uh, more than 1 hour to commute so it's basically waste of our time and uh, it makes us stressed and uh, there are so many other things following so when you do this right at home 60% time more time is for working so you don't have all this hassle of going to work commuting all the day um, and you are not getting stressed out because of uh, traffic and uh, you know all these other things so you can put more time and again this can uh, increase the productivity and uh, yeah so uh the stat says uh working from home cuts distractions across the board to the yearly tune of 60 billion dollars i'm not 100% sure where the stats coming from the references are there down but still uh, uh, this can be uh, uh for for overall for the world i believe okay right? so this it's it's a big cut down so it can be uh, so this this money that is saved can be uh, applied or can be Used for any other purpose, uh, some uh, betterment of the world. So I think uh, this is really good. And then, uh, see, we should not forget about no. This is what happened, you know, in Corona case also. What happened uh, as human? Right? Uh, we do think about ourselves. 
we don't think about the environment we don't think about uh, the overall good uh, so uh, somehow we have to suffocate so it, uh, the environment uh, fights back returns back and you know uh, teaches us a lesson so we have to think about the environment also so uh, if you look at the right hand side so environment it says if 50 percent of the u.s workforce work from home the environment benefits would include greenhouse gas reduction of this amount so that's a lot so that equal to the weight of uh, this 317,000 something of blue whales so but getting the overall picture so it it, it really makes sense for the world right so we are living in a, a kind of environment uh, uh, that everybody fights for the day and then we don't really worry too much about the environment and we don't really worry about the uh, the world that we are living in so but uh, this smaller thing we can't we can't say this is a smaller thing remote working but this this phenomenon can really help us to uh, increase many aspects of the environment that we're living in so think about uh, reduction of uh, all these waste matters uh, waste materials or even like uh, the smoke coming out of our traffic so all these things are not there anymore so it can really help uh, the environment all right so then again cost effectiveness again saved money you know try to understand if you save money that can be put it into uh, some better betterment of the world so save ten thousand dollars in real estate cost which employee who works from home yeah so that's again saving uh, car mileage reduction uh, and then 19 billion miles which is equal to this 4779 trips around the earth and also reduce oil consumption enough to fill 172 super domes and so less uh, oil burn so it's good for the environment again save the following simply by adapting cloud-based telephony and remote offices utilities parking spaces all these things can be saved uh, yeah so that's basically some perspective of or the benefits of remote uh, working right so you can uh, see that i'll put the link in the description and you can uh, look at the references uh, of this data all right uh, the second link which i found again from visual.ly uh, is about uh, tools for managing remote teams so i think you have seen a lot of articles videos and a lot of messages in WhatsApp and Facebook uh, uh, showing that there are so many tools out there. And most of the organizations like Microsoft giving away Microsoft Teams, Google giving away Google Hangout, uh, these enterprise features, and uh, Cisco is giving away WebEx, a tool for communicating, and plenty of other organizations doing that. Right? So it's good, you know, it's really good uh, where big organizations helping other people. Uh, to uh, do remote working and you know this work should continue right so whatever so this is called continuity of the business right or continuity for organization continuity of the government so this all these matters right otherwise everything holds uh, it's more chaos right and then of course uh, following the disaster you get the economic downturn so to get ready for this people have to work now right so these are some of those things you are concerned sourcing so you have to acquire talent a lot of people you know organizations are now this there is a dilemma like how do you get employees employees want to find employment so for all these things you need to have sourcing apps so there are tools like breezy so i'm not going to detail about it and also you can do linkedin you can use linkedin and uh, we work remotely and stack overflow and things like that right? so for sourcing you need that and also you can use like uh, tools like fever right and also you can use uh, uh, Upwork. So those are the things that uh, employers can look into these days. So these environments or these, uh, you know, these frameworks or these uh, uh, sites are very popular, but it will get more popular day by day because of uh, the problem is out there. And also uh, you have to manage people. So uh, don't forget that whatever a tool provided, but if you don't do the project management right, uh, you don't find... Uh, uh, you don't find uh, anything working properly so you can plan your work you have to work your plan out so you have to use tools uh, uh, to work it out so um, so it says telework grew by nearly 80 percent so now it's probably more than that uh, right and also you have to use uh, connecting tools so uh, you have to use some uh, tools uh, 
to get connecting these people so of course I said several times uh, earlier so you can use tools like Skype and all these tools now for most of the time uh, it's uh, uh, freely available right and also uh, uh, for a lot of uh, software development work you have to use uh, code sharing and all these things you have these options right and you have GitHub and so many other options and for onboarding so there are apps like this Meldium Right, so these are also useful uh, applications right so similarly uh, there are other applications which you can use remotely like for brainstorming you can use Evernote uh, and for automating tasks you can use happier tool uh, so again for motivating so remember like you know people are like stressed out so you can use some motivational tools as that and of course collaboration you can use Google Drive and talking there are plenty of tools and there's another tool like this Right, so um, I'll share this article. There are other things that you can have a look at. So I'm not going to go in detail because you have seen uh, enough uh, uh, applications like this. So I don't have to do a video on that. So there are enough videos for you to watch on that. Uh, and finally, I found something interesting, right? And this is something that I really wanted you to uh, look at from a very different perspective. So uh, uh, so in, in this time of chaos, everybody have to fit into a uh, remote working right so uh, it's not option but it seems to be a mandatory mandatory option right so now these are some of those uh, interesting situations so um, you have to understand uh, as a person so am I ready right am I ready uh, to do remote working so in this example this is specifically for bosses whether these bosses these are fictional bosses right they have uh, come up with and these fictional bosses have different personalities the personas right so this they are, they're trying to see whether this personas matches remote working right but still you can apply this to yourself and see whether you, will you fix or you know, fit into remote working if not don't really worry you know don't really worry you have to do some change of your mindset so this is one example uh, Miranda right uh, uh, so she uh, uh, basically, uh, her, uh, some of the pros would be a traveler, sets clear deadlines, uh, incredibly productive. So, of course, uh, she has these qualities which matches uh, for remote working. She's a traveler, obviously, so she should have that capability of connecting with anybody else. Uh, and uh, cons would be can't email. Uh, yeah and would demand 24 7 connectivity from a team so these are some of the uh, downsides but still uh, the verdict is absolutely she is more than ready right more than ready uh, for remote work right and uh, there is this other person uh, so he is uh, only communicates when it's very necessary quite necessary and no traffic jams in the morning so he's okay to come to work uh, but hands off approach lets him team to be creative so He's not doing micromanagement, right? So this is one thing that you understand. If you try to do micromanagement, then remote working might not be a good solution. So if you have that boss, you had asked the boss to be different. Or if you are the, that type of person, you have to be different. So you have to allow people to be creative. Right. So again, there's a highly likely possibility, right? Uh, and also uh, the con side, lose the creative energy of an office brainstorm. So of course this is the problem like you know when you when you are in the office when you are working with pen and paper you, you can do a lot of brainstorming uh, uh, it's, it's much easier to get things into your head when you, when you are in, in that mood so that's some of the difficulties but now we have like a lot of these video applications where I know like Microsoft Teams uh, where you can share the blackboard and you can you know jot down things others can join in so all these uh, things are very useful right uh, okay then uh, the other person the fictional person Michael Scott so very attentive always needs to be in the know so basically it's like micromanagement right uh, and wants to be the cool boss maybe that's a good thing you know uh, not a bad thing you know uh, 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 he wants to uh, like uh, be a per people person uh, and uh, loves his job and his co-worker so he's more of a social person so there you find uh, 
it's very difficult for him to adjust to remote working and also like he's not tech savvy and very 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 social so uh, it shows uh, that he's not really suited for uh, remote working so uh, if this is the case uh, you might have to do a lot of work to just adjust it to remote working but still uh, you you you'll have some uh, difficulties and then uh, so there's this other guy ron ultimate hands of manager uh, won't run into the bureaucracies in the whole way more time for eating okay all right that's so fun so um, so that also again like so uh, there's no bureaucracy right so then uh, obviously you know uh, this person also is suited for uh sorry not so uh, just uh, the synopsis of this whole uh, document is that uh, yes remote working is there you have the tools you have the people everybody's in place that were connected but still right uh, do you have that essence of cultural uh, you know uh, sense of uh, doing remote working so this is this is the logic you know so if you don't have it right so at the end of the day the whole operation can be a failure so it's good to uh, look at even this uh, uh, we say like cultural things of personal development you know so there are a lot of opportunities for people you know i believe uh, in summary like there are so many opportunities for people to create new products to people to create a new uh, uh, workflows to people to even to uh, do change management you know do sessions on change management you can talk to an organization say see like everybody is now stressed out everybody is have this uh, different types of issues of connecting with these devices so you can give some technical sessions as well as you can build up their mindset to uh, get the better productivity out of these systems all right so that's basically uh, it that i wanted to share so it's a completely a different perspective uh, so hope that you uh, enjoyed it so if you have any comments please put it uh, in the comments below and please subscribe and click the like button and uh, i'll come up with something interesting uh, uh, with the next episode and please uh, give any comments to improve my podcast uh, so i know there are a lot of uh, things to be improved it's like uh, a very random effort uh, so so welcome your comments and thank you very much guys thank you